That was the old CEO of DVD. They got a new one now. Have they? I haven't really been following the new team and stuff. Like, who, who's in it, who isn't. Fight again. Dude, he catches up so quick. Nice. I thought he wouldn't be able to get the angle. Huh. Not bad, Chess. Ba -da 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 -da. It was about two and a half, I think. Uh, two boss to sell it, but your fault. Uh, Rush itself uh, as a perk isn't the problem. The problem is the incapacitated status effect. Just remove that, leave the rest. Still won't be that good, though. Uh, get rid of incapacitated and just leave it as 10% regression is trash. Uh, the incapacitated effect probably... Uh, did something closer to 30 to 40 percent regression. Um, but yeah, if you had it on the 10 percent, um, without all the other stuff they've done, it probably still would be used. It's way weaker, but you know, it's the scraps in it. You have to, uh, you have to pick up the scraps. You have to start using the scraps to skill it, don't you? That was really risky if you had barbecue. Really, really risky. But the guy's on a gen over there. I'm going to start on this one, I think. Well, the guy hopefully don't leave it to the second stage. I think he's over there. I hope he's down there. When this gen pops, we'll see where he's at. Please be close to her. I'm pretty sure he's down there. Am I right? There, okay, yeah, that's good. He can make that. Good chip. Good guess. Game sense. No, 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 Uh, but yeah, I didn't read all that, Matthew. But um, yeah, I mean, 10%, big nerf. It's gone down from like 30, 40%. And it ain't even that as well. Like, not only has it gone down, like, you know, 30, 40%, but it's also uh, made it so they can heal as well. Because we've incapacitated. I mean, what they could do, potentially, with incapacitated is make it where they can't do gens when they have the effect, but they can still heal. They can still do totems. So at least it gives them something. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. So I always want to, just want to rush gens. Like, 
I'm the same. When I play Survivor, I, I mean, it makes sense. Like, why wouldn't you? It's your objective. The, issue, the difference with me and other survivors is I understand that the killer don't want me to do gens quickly. And if the killer's doing well and uses perks, they should stop me from rushing. But, um... I definitely am in the minority with that line of thinking. God damn it! That was so stupid of me. <laughs> I completely fucked that. I do that uh, every now and again. Where I concentrate on the killer and I forget about the skill check. <laughs> okay, I slowed down. Shit. Actually, it might not matter all that. Because, uh... Elodie's on it. Nice. So none of that even matters. But god damn it. Mess that up. Or do they have no way out? They went on there and stopped, so I feel like they do. Might as well confirm. Yep. So that's going to be like that for a while. Is there another gate somewhere? Where's the other gate? Is that it? That's it. Alright, I'm going to go for the other gate. Even before I like perfectly time this and it's going to... Oh. Nearly perfect. The question is, is this going to be a free escape? It is blight. I think we can get a free escape here. I think they give reassurance. They have. This is going to be a free escape, I think. That actually needs to uh, not go down, though. Easier said than done. But while the Ash is getting chased, you'd think the other person would be there. Or they're kind of hovering there. Is that what's going on? And what's going on down here? That might be a free escape. It is Blight, so we can bounce after a hit. We might be able to heal tech him, though. Nah, they needed a body block. Oh, it's fine. Never mind. <laughs> um, definitely some kind of different... Uh, different, never seen before change. I mean, I had an idea of what they could have, uh, where it's uh, like a, a 10v1, right? And the whole objective is to stay alive uh, the longest, like be the last one to, to stay alive, for example. Um, and it wouldn't be hooks. The killer would just have mores. Uh, and it'd be first person. So in Survivor, you'd just be first person. Uh, the killer don't have any perks. All they have is um, a red... Um, what is it? Kind of like uh, red outlines, right? Red auras every now and again of where survivors are at. Um, that's kind of the concept. But you have to think, how would the killer, like, how would the killer be forced to go for more than one survivor? Maybe if you survive long enough in chase, um, hmm, how would you do that? I mean, let's just say it roughly, right? Let's just give it like a, a rough uh, court, for example. Um, when the killer goes after you for a minute, these change, these times can change, um, and they haven't uh, hit you, you disappear. And they need to go for someone else. And you reappear somewhere else. And they don't know which one you are because obviously it's just loads of red auras. Something like that. I think that'd be really fun. So you'd play Survivor, and you're trying to be the last one to... Uh, you know, the last one to uh, die, and he can't just tunnel one for ages because he needs to get the hits every minute. If he doesn't, blah, blah, blah. I think that'd be really fun, man. I, I'd, I'd like that. It'd be an indoor map as well, um, and it'd be, it'd be very scary, like this killer running around, hearing like the heartbeat and stuff in first person. I think it's a really fucking good idea. I don't think the devs will do it, but I think it's a really fucking good idea, man. But as I said, I was an ideas person, so 